Hello, hello, hello. I just popped in to check if you're still good. Are you still working towards that dream? Are you still focused? Are you still believing? Do you still have fire in your baby bird? You see, when your dream is directly linked to eradicating poverty in your family or actually breaking mediocrity and even to a point of changing the status quo of the next generation, sometimes that fight might be bigger than others. But I need you to stay focused because sometimes, or rather the most important thing about starting something is keeping focus. So I actually just want to take you through the text um, where Moses and the Israelites were actually stuck in the desert and um, they were being bitten and, uh, by snakes and most of them were dying. So Moses ended up uh, building a brass snake which he had to put up and he gave a command that anybody that focused on that snake which was brass they would not die from the snake bites. So the important thing with that is the minute you keep focus away from everything that is happening in your life, it, it becomes easier for you. And again, if we were to look at, um, I think it's Peter, yes it was Peter, when he was able to jump off the boat and walk on water, the reason why and the only reason he was able to do that was because he was focused on Christ. But the minute he started looking at the weights, he started to doubt and that's when he actually fell. So again, we actually see the importance of staying focused. So what are you focusing on? I'm asking you to focus on the actual dream. What is it that made you start in the first place? Why are you doing this? And what is the end result that you want to see? And what does the word of God have to say about it? Because whatever dream or purpose that you have, you need to make sure that it is based on the word of God so that so that you're able to um, uh, declare it every single day upon your life. So I know that sometimes it can actually be hard. And when that happens, because remember when you're focusing on something bigger than you, life can throw so many things at you. And sometimes it feels as if it's actually punched you right in the gut. But I need you to keep focus. And remember that when it does get hard, it's okay to cry. You're not made of stone. And if you're tired, it's okay to take a rest. But what you cannot do is give yourself the option to give up. You need to do this for your family. You need to do this for yourself. You need to do this for the kingdom of God and for the glory of God. So I am rooting for you and I am wishing you all the best in life. And remember that you can make it and you just need to keep focused and keep pushing aggressively towards that dream. Aggressively, but strategically. And I know that you will make it. Until then, not next.